Hello everybody, Salty Walties here, and I got my Zaka One Gert Smitchers uh, type. Uh, I don't do particularly that well in this video, but it's uh, it's been a while since I last used it, so I said, "Fuck it, let's use it." Um, so the Gert Smitcher is the top placing mobile suit for the U.S. Uh, release, so it got the top most votes for. Uh, good reason, because it is a Zaku one, so that means it's automatically the most sexiest fucking suit. And, uh, sadly, gentlemen who, uh, who have not played, I just want to let you know, it does not come with this bazooka. But, uh, depending on what version of the game we get, uh, or you guys get, I don't know if you guys are going to be behind, or you guys are going to be in tune with the Japanese side. Uh, I honestly did not see that knocked rock, uh, run past that way, <laughs> so I'm kind of blind. Uh, uh, you're going to want to buy the Dom Tropen also if you want to use this bazooka. But it does come with the good weapons of Efrit, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 90 millimeter bolt pump, uh, not, bleh, the 90 millimeter machine gun and the, uh, sit down Australia and the standard, uh, 120 millimeter Zaku, uh, machine gun. So it's, you're, you're pretty well off. And then the Stern Faust is pretty damn, uh, strong in this game too. So you guys would be, uh, pretty set for, uh. That's a good, it's a decent starting suit. The only change I would make to it is uh, make it run faster for one and uh, give it two melee swings. Because at, at, you know, 400 cost, if, because at level one it's a 300 cost, so it bumps up 50 points per uh, level. So it's three, 300, 350, and then 400. And I feel like it should at least at level three, hopefully at level four or five, it gets two swings. I feel like uh, it'd be really good. I mean, hell, look at that downswing on that Pale Rider. I did 3k damage, so that's pretty fucking decent if you ask me. So, the Zaku one is uh, essentially... Uh, fuck. I I remember reading that the Garrett Smitcher Zaku one commander is actually a modified Zaku one. More, more like the standard Zaku uh, commanders are not upgraded. They're just... They just have the other shoulder uh, pad implemented, and that's it. Uh, honestly, I always like the Zaku one. It's always been one of my favorite Zac uh, Zeon designs. I think I, I, my favorites tend to go for the more simplistic designs, and Zaku one is definitely a simple design. And hot damn, I do love this suit. Um, I do have the Master Grade Rambaral, uh model, but the sad part is... It's an old model. The Zaku 1 models were, like, hot garbage. And it's a, it's a little upsetting that they haven't uh, uh, made version 2s yet. There's high grades, of course, but I, I can't do high grades with the... Because they're just too damn small. My hands are too big, and I when it comes to having to mess with something that small, it's, a, it's just too difficult for me. And, uh, and that's a little upsetting because it's a little hard to do, like, custom builds for uh, mass grades due to the fact that... Uh, they don't do builder parts for uh, master grades. They only do high grades uh, for builder parts. So that's a little upsetting that they do it that way. Uh, I need to find a way or... Uh, considering that where I'm located, there's not... Gunpla is not exactly... Popular, I guess. So... Uh, so it's not like I can, you know, go find someone to trade bits and all that with them. So I gotta rely on outside help, and I got a good friend in uh, my Discord, uh, Discord by the name of George. That uh, uh, he he looked around for a couple bits for me, but he couldn't find the ones I'm looking for. So it's all good. But yeah, I appreciate the help. I'm I'm really wanting to do a uh, custom light arm uh, gym light armor build. I need to buy buy another version two gym, and find a way to modify it. I don't know how to do all of that though, because I'm not that well skilled but I want to do a uh, definitely want to do a uh, light custom build for that and if they ever make a version 2 Zaku 1 I would be so happy because I would definitely make my custom Zaku 1 commander type oh I would have so much fun doing that uh, because I do still have uh, I'm pretty sure I still have bits for my uh, version 1 guff custom somewhere uh, so, I'll, yeah, I mean, I would definitely take the, if I have the bits for it, I definitely would take the three-barreled Gatling gun. 
put it on its uh actually I put it on its right arm because I feel like just so, something to make it look different. I definitely want to take uh the spike shoulders. I don't know if I want spike shoulders from the Zaku uh the Zaku 2 types or the Zaku, I mean the goof cut uh the goof's uh spike shoulders. I I like the goof cu uh the goof shoulders, but it's the fact the the uh outward spike that curves upward. I kind of like don't like that because I like, I've always wanted to have, like, spike shoulders that could be heated in a way and use them as a melee, uh, melee attack. Kind of, like, use it, uh, make my tackle even more effective. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, and then I don't understand how these people build, like, custom weapons for their mobile suits, too. I think that's fucking nuts that they can do that. Uh, like, I, I, I seen this one model... And, or this, let's take the Dom Barrage. There's not a model of the Dom Barrage, but this dude took a Master Grade Dom, and I don't know if he's got, like, a 3D printer or what, but he fucking, he took this fucking Dom, and he's making it, it, it into a Dom Barrage. He's got the Gatling gun, I'm assuming he stole from a, uh, a, uh, what do you call that damn thing? A, uh, Gun Unit 5, because it kind of looked like, I seen, I think it had some bits on it from the Unit 5's Gatling gun. And, uh, fucking hiccups, man, I swears. <laughs> and, uh, it just looked really good. He had the front skirts all modified. He had the top camera mounted. Though, I feel like the way he did it, uh, was really ingenious. Because it looked like a Lego piece, to be honest. Like, he hollowed out that section of the head and dropped one of those, uh, dark-colored, uh, uh, those dark colored, uh, what do you call those damn things? Little light up pieces? Not, well, not a light up piece, but kind of like indicate a light part. And, uh, I think that, like, I think that was a pretty neat idea. It kind of like cuts down on the, uh, I forgot, oh yeah, the puppy was fucking with me right here. That's why I was, uh, like doing stupid shit right there. But yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty neat idea if you want to, like, cut down on stuff. Like, I seen this one Master Grid Gog someone took for Warhammer 40k and made it into an Orc Stampa. And I thought that would look so cool because it had a bunch of, like, elongated metal bits all over it. It's, uh, claw... One of its claws were removed and it turned into a big-ass fucking gun. It looks so good. Like, whoever did that build... It... I... I if you watch my videos, man, the your custom build on that Gog for, to make it into an Orc Stampa beautiful work man i shit you not i'm in, really impressed with how well that looks no low key it looked really good but uh yeah i think that's how yeah get fucked <laughs> but yeah uh that's my match sorry for like being all around the place with the commentary but uh i hope you guys enjoyed that match it was i did kind of shit so uh yeah hope you guys have a good thursday and i shall uh Talk to you guys later, yeah? Was for Daniels.